Good morning, gear shifters. I am all packed up. I spent the night at Lackawanna State Park. Oh. I've got my water shoes on the back of the bike, hooked in so they won't fall off, but I've got them out here because they're wet so they can dry. And uh, we're gonna head out and get some breakfast. Uh, we are only 14 miles away. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking it's a one way that way that'll loop me out, so. I am on day three of a trip from North Carolina up to Quebec, Canada. I have to go to Canada for a week for business and decided it would be a lot more fun to ride there camping along the way instead of flying. Oh wow, look at that fancy yurt. It was a great campground. They have cabins, pop-up campers, and RVs, and tent campers. So pretty the morning after it rains because everything's so green and fresh and bright. But I do need to watch out to make sure that there aren't lots of branches on the road. I called up ahead to where I'm staying in Quebec and um, was told that they had some tornadoes there yesterday between Quebec City and where the hotel is up in the mountains and that they don't currently have power. Well, they do at the hotel, but parts of that little area do not have power and there are some trees down. So I am going to be proceeding with caution and um, hopefully I'll be able to make it there. I'm taking the back roads up through New York to the border where I'll be crossing into Canada. I'm definitely spending more time looking down at the road than I normally do. There are just so many potholes. Wow, so pretty. I love the woods, especially woods that are in the mountains like this. I'm just gonna pull down here just so you can see. There's a picnic pavilion and they have boat, boat and kayak rentals. Lots of places to set up and barbecue. There's also, looks like a swimming pool. Nice. Great place to come vacation. A lake and a pool. Mm, I can smell campfires. People getting them ready to fire up their breakfast over the campfire. That is not my plan today. It's a little walking path down by the lake. Pretty, pretty. Need to clean my windshield. When I stop for gas, I'll do that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I can see the mountains on the other side and the lake. What is that in the middle of the road? Oh, Hossum did not make it. So we're taking, I think this is 407. These are some bumpy roads. As I go up to crest the hill, I want to make sure I'm away from the yellow line. You never know what's going to be on the other side of that hill. So where are we? It says Fleetville, established 1838. It's an old church. Oh, it's turned into an art gallery. Sky Lake Gallery, a cidery. This looks like a little happen in town. Get your hard apple cider and go down to the art gallery. Keystone Antiques. Eeny, meeny, miny, no. Child for all these holes. You see me swerving, it's to avoid big bumps in the road is not only do they have 
like potholes and craters, it's also almost looks like the road in several places is kind of buckled. And so it creates this like bump. And you can see them by looking at the shadows. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the video, but I can see where they are by looking at the shadows. I did not notice the first one though. I found that out on my butt. Just, boom. Mm, mm, mm. This makes my heart happy. It's beautiful. You see that? My water bottle is just inching its way up. Riding through the back roads of Pennsylvania. Wow. Beautiful. Just look at that. The little lake with the little dock on it. It's just beautiful. It's like an infinity lake. More holes. All right, we are now in Lenox only seven miles away from breakfast which is good because i'm getting hungry so tell me something if you are from pennsylvania i have seen several of those signs it says black detour they have blue detours red detours i think i saw a yellow detour what is that and what are you detouring and why is it color coded Riddle me that. Share the road. So that's a good sign. On that traffic sign that said share the road, it had a bicycle, which means that they probably don't have as many craters and buckles on this road. Yeah, this road is in much better condition. Wow, that's just amazing. What a beautiful farm. All right, we're going to Lenox. 92 Pennsylvania Byway. All right, I believe it's on this road. Yeah, this road is awesome. Very good condition. That is a nice surprise. There's a bicyclist. See, there's one of those arrows again. So we're on the blue detour now. What are we detouring and why is it blue? Welcome to Lenox Township. It reminds me of North Carolina. So that is the fourth dead deer that I've seen on the side of the road. This place is full of deer. Wow, look at that cypress right there. That's beautiful. Yeah, we're almost there, just a couple stop signs. So this is where we're headed, Bingham's Restaurant. And there's a gas station where we can fill up after. Awesome. Nice, nice shady spot right up front. Oh, 
absolutely looks so good. Especially that strawberry. Thanks. I would rate this a 10 out of 10 dining experience. The breakfast was fast and delicious and I was able to get back on the road quickly. So I filled up, but I failed to clean my windshield. Right now I'm running parallel to 88. That's always a fun sign for motorcycles when you see that warning for trucks. 8% grade for the next mile. We are entering the town of Oxford, New York. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Mountains, 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 mountains. And you can see little farms dotted all across them. These roads are pretty good. Lady walking her dog on the side of the road. Village of Oxford and the Chenango River. Which looks like railroad tracks. Oh no, here's the river. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. All right, it's rerouting, so I must have gone the wrong way. So I think I might just turn around because I don't think I have signal to reroute. I need to go left here where these motorcycles are coming from. in the right direction. That is a very old cemetery. It's the veterans home. It's like a retirement community for veterans. That's nice. Beautiful place to retire. It's nice, brand new road for parts of it. You can see up ahead, there's some more repaving done. See, there's another motorcycle waiting for church to be over, maybe, or, oh, that one's for sale. That motorcycle's looking for a new home. We are in Polkville, New York, and this little town has a stoplight. Up ahead, I see another light. be a larger size community off in one direction because I saw a car dealership down there. But we're just skirting around taking the back roads to Canada. going to need one more tank of gas before my destination. Sort of how I gauge the distance I've gone, how many tanks of gas. So I stopped to get some ice cream and take a little break and get some more water. Um, but I had a little incident and um, fortunately I got back up but 
I dropped my GoPro and broke it. So all the batteries, I have four extra batteries that are all charged that only fit this one. Fortunately, I have a backup GoPro, um, but it only has one battery that will work with it and it's at 49%. So I am going to not take any video until I get to the border crossing. Here are a few pictures from my trip up to the border. Unfortunately, it started raining really hard and I had to stop in Canton, New York for the night before rerouting to a different border crossing the next day. I enjoyed a great breakfast and got up on the road with my backup camera all hooked up. Here's my first meal in Canada, poutine, and then a ferry ride, and finally made it to the hotel in mont -Treblanc. Once I got settled into the hotel, I realized pretty quickly that all of the video I had taken on the backup camera was in time-lapse and completely useless. And even if it had been usable, unfortunately, I lost that memory card while on a ride last weekend. So for whatever reason, that part of this journey was not meant to be shared. On the way back to the US, I stopped in Sherbrooke, Quebec to visit with some friends. I had an awesome night sleeping in their Sprinter van out on their lake. This was the bed and there are drawers and the bottom drawer actually slides out and it's a step to get up to the bed. There are lights along the entire interior and it's run by both, they've got a car battery and there's also solar power. But just look at that view out the window. Absolutely incredible. And we're gonna be catching our morning breakfast out of the pond in just a little bit. And here's the kitchen area. It was so nice. Michelle put flowers for me as well as snacks. And then this is the bathroom, which is really genius. So there's shower and the toilet, everything that you need. And then over here, when they're on trips, these are the chairs. It's actually got three because they are a family of three. But this is a little dining area. It swivels and turns and can be moved, but it's incredible. But the best thing about this place, oh, and a sink. Um, so you, know, you control the sink here. It's just absolutely remarkable. Oh, and there's a refrigerator. So wonderful, cozy place. But the best thing about this van is where it's parked. Just look at that. So, I'm going to enjoy my morning coffee right here and contemplate which direction I will go next. I crossed back to the United States through Vermont. The border crossing experience was easy and uneventful. My name's Jordan. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Hit the like button. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.